They have bad attitude, you have bad attitude, you're probably gonna get a shitty tip. That's just the way the world works. All right, so the money does not sound bad at all. Now, how can we make more? We make our money on tips almost exclusively. We get paid minimum wage, state of California minimum wage. There are states where you get paid half minimum wage. Tips employees get paid half minimum wage. So at the end of the week when you get your paycheck, a lot of times it's non-negotiable because the money you made in your paycheck doesn't cover the taxes they take out. And it's brutal at the end of the year when you do your taxes in April or whenever you do your taxes, you end up paying money because you owe the government money. We're lucky in California that we get paid minimum. So I always get a little bit of my check, which means I won't owe the government something at the end of the year. Um, yeah, so a majority of our money, a lion's share of our money is through tips. Um, it's, again, it goes back to being understanding and, and being a good person and being a listener and being a good bartender. So if, you, if somebody comes in and you have a bad attitude, they have a bad attitude, you have a bad attitude, you're probably gonna get a shitty tip. That's just the way the world works. Um, if somebody comes in and they're having a bad day and you think they're gonna tip you poorly and you're nice to them, you treat them well, you'll probably get a better tip. They'll remember you, they'll come in, they'll ask for you, and they'll, at Christmas, at Hanukkah, at Easter, they will give you, come in, hey, here's an envelope for you. It happens all the time. It's, it's the weirdest thing. It's like tipping the, the milkman in, in back in the 50s. That's where we make our money, is treating people well, um, being fast, being attentive, never losing your temper. Even when it's slamming busy, you keep a laundry list of what's going on in your head and you know that person's next, that person's next. If that person's yelling at you, you can be mean and go, don't yell at me. I just go, just give me a sec, I'll be right there. If I yell at them, chances are they're not gonna tip me. If I ignore them, chances are they're not gonna tip me. Even though they're rude to me, I get it. I know they're in a busy bar and they want to drink. It's, it's annoying and it sucks. But if I'm rude to them, I'm not gonna get money from them and they're not gonna come back. So that's, that's kinda how you maximize your tips, is you're just good to people. Stand your ground, be tough, do your job. Don't give away anything for free. But you can, if you can be nice to people and, while still doing that. Um, at least for me, one of the biggest things for earning tips is I always put, put it on there because I, I'm not at a bar and because I am doing house parties, um, I'm always uh, constantly just you know, putting like, you know, make sure you tip, or I'll put a big sign at the end of my tip jar. Um, you know, I have different little signs like these that I put up around, and then, you know, I always just thank someone when they do tip me. That's definitely something I do when they tip. I always tell them, thank you, you know, I appreciate it. Um, I don't ever ask for tips, you know, like in regards, like, hey, you know, where's my tip? I think that's, on, that's something you just don't do. It's kind of like one of those cardinal rules as a bartender you just don't do, you know. Um, you expect a tip, but if you don't get one, you don't get one, and I, you always provide the same service, no matter what. Like, I don't, I don't pour more art towards another person or something like that. I might, you know, help another person right away. So, like, let's say there's a couple people, and I know that one person's been taking care of me the whole night, then I'm gonna definitely make sure that I, like, okay, what do you need? Or one of the other things I always remember, too, like, as a bartender, like, when someone's tipping you, you always remember their drink. So, like, right away, it's like, okay, I see them coming, boom, I'm gonna get their drink, and, you know, more, in, most of the time they're gonna order the same thing. You know, so they come by, they show up, they already have their drink ready, it's like, oh, perfect, thank you. You know, so that's one of the things I do. Key thing, personality. That's, that's, that's really what a bartender is. Uh, you can make drinks, anyone with half a brain can follow a recipe. All, all these recipes are my recipes, so I, I list them down on the, you know, when I send the bartender on their events, so they know exactly what to do. Now, what makes, the difference between an actual bartender or just some random person I can hire to do these things. Bartenders are not going to freak out. They know different brands of tequila. They're not going to be confused as to the ingredients. They'll be able to read this recipe and do it right there. So you do need bar experience for sure. Do you need a lot? No, because sometimes you just have it. Um, you either have it or you don't. There's a certain je ne sais quoi about uh, being a bartender really. It's, it's more or less to add it to you. Really, the, the key thing is self-confidence. That, that's it. I've, I've had bartenders with very little bartending experience, but people think like, oh my God, you probably have been doing this for years. Now, I, I've had that too, and I'm just like, no, 
not, not at all. It just seems like it. You have to be smiling. You have to just have a positive attitude. Uh, your work ethic is very important. You have to be able to roll your sleeves up and get some work done. Um, obviously, there's knowledge aspects that I want a bartender to know. You need to know how to make 